Miles Morning Madhouse on Mom Radio. I am Paul Morrison. Once again, a good Thursday morning. Your show is almost over, but not without chatting with our guest, local artist LG, a good friend of mine who I actually ran into at the convenience store over the weekend, actually. What's up, What's man? What's the deal? I'm sorry it's been so long. Guys, how y'all been? To all my fans, man, thanks for being patient with your boy. And look, I got something real shaped up for y'all a little later in the conversation. But back to my big guy, man, I've been all right, man. How you been? Uh, I've been doing great. It, it was great to see you, and I, I've been wondering what you're up to because I've heard a lot of great things have been going on, going your way lately. Yeah, man, you know, God is good, man. I have to say that first and foremost, you know. So uh, I like to talk about some things that's popping up. First, I'd like to give a big shout-out to my homeboys, Big Easy, you know what I'm saying? They did it big out there last weekend with uh, Buddha Monk, repping Wu-Tang in Brooklyn Zoo, you know what I mean? Shout-out to Savannah, by the way, you hear me? What's up, babies? But uh, big ups to Columbia Records for taking notice in your boy, you know what I'm saying? We're doing some big things over here, man. Shout out to De- Columbia and uh, Island Def Jam, by the way, too. I see you, baby. Keep it popping over there. Huh, bruh? HBZ. Man, I've been all right, though, big guy. Up in, uh, I'd like to thank the city of Scottville for allowing me to do a concert over there, man. We had a little situation with a mission, uh, missing kid out here, man, so... We try to do our efforts, you know. Yeah, I've heard plenty about that. I saw you in the paper. I, I saw that you were doing that um that concert. Everybody's heard about the uh, missing baby Kate story. And yeah. first, yeah, give me your uh, give me your thoughts uh, a little bit about that, and also why you thought that was important to do that um fundraiser. Well, I'm a I'm a father first and foremost. You know what I mean? And I mean that's my way of help. And I got into music because I thought music was the one way to help, heal, and teach the world. You know. I mean, in the midst of all type of trouble and animosity and whatever type of situation you're going through, you can hear a song that can bring you back to your childhood and have you reminiscing the good days. Yeah, that is one of the great things about music, mm-hmm. you know, just hearing some stuff that you remember when you were a kid and then yeah, going man. back to that. Like, I remember where I was when yeah, I heard that man. song. That's fantastic. LG joining us. Uh, Miles Morning Madhouse on Mom Radio. I am Paul Morrison, and I know a lot of big things on the horizon for you, and you've actually been... Um, Working on a lot of stuff lately. I mean, the last album you dropped was about a couple of years back, right? Well, no, I just actually I just released my new album. It's uh, entitled It Ain't Over. It's the follow up to Still Standing. See, dude. Still Standing was the one when I was talking with you yeah. a lot in the afternoon. I've actually heard the other one. You were um, you were with Nikki, Nikki yeah. not too long ago, and I've heard that one too. Yeah. So this is why we record these interviews, and I can edit the embarrassing parts out when I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, ah, <laughs> you you got this right here. Yeah, very good. No, I got that. We'll leave it in. Don't worry. I'm be- I'm better not editing anyways. So that's good. But okay, but tell us about some of the stuff you're working on. Um, well, actually, first let's go back to your um latest album. How's that been doing for you? Well, actually, pretty well, man. Um. First week, I sold about a thousand copies. Excellent, you know? excellent. And I'm doing this solely independent, so it's pretty good. Well, yeah. see that—that's exactly what when you're, where you're, you're an artist like yourself, and you, you do things independently. I mean, you got to be hitting the streets, you got to be doing things like this, and you got to be—I'm yeah. just um, promoting, promoting, promoting it. it yeah, it's be a, dedicated, big guy. It's a struggle sometimes, but you seem to be making it work, man. Well, I mean, if it's something that you want in life, you got to believe me, guys. You got to do something you probably never done before, but. You can't give up on your dreams. And I know it sounds real cliche, guys, but trust me, I'm willing to prove it. You know, and I remember a few years back, actually, when we were talking with each other and when I was doing the afternoon show, that um, you started messing around with um, a little bit of the, not just the rap game, but also the country game as well. What, I know you got a song that you want to play on air for us in just a little bit. What's this all about? Get, lead us into this. Yeah, man. You know what's crazy, dude? I've always loved music. My first love has been music. When I was five years old, I was leading choirs, so I do gospel as well, you know. But um, I like country because it tells stories, man. You know, and I'm an artist first and foremost, you know what I mean, as far as my music. And I believe the art in it, it carries and it varies, you know. So I thought, man, by me being in hip-hop, what better way to create something interesting by reinventing myself? So I thought, what if Dougie Fresh, Boys to Men, Kenny Chesney, and Randy Travis was in the studio. That's a very eclectic mix right there, man. <laughs> yeah, uh, you're, you're going for a lot right there. Can you pull it off? I think you can, though. What's this song called, and what, what are we going into right now? Okay, the song is called Roses, and the reason it's for Roses, this is just a shout-out to all my little, my young kid fans, you know. Guys, you got to learn to treat your parents a little better, especially your mom, because we only got one, you know. So the song is called Roses, and that simply means just give your mom her respect, R-E-S-P-C-T. 
P-E-C-T. Sorry about that, guys. So stay in school. Now check it out, though. You know, she can't smell her roses when, when she's gone, and we only get one, guys. So love her while she's here. And on that note, I present to you roses. Yep. Right, Jim. Thank you, PM. LG, thank you so much, man. We'll talk to you very, very soon. Big dog, I'm out. It's Miles Morning Madhouse. I'm Mom Ready. Here's Roses by LG. I'm Mom FM.